I was in a place where I've gone for many, many years, decades, and for a few minutes alone, comfortable enough to start stretching uh, without a distracting consciousness, self-consciousness, and, um, you know, in other words, a, a true release, and, um, and in turn, hopefully healing this one position that I can stand in while stretching uh, might look and did in fact look to uh, this person who calls himself a Tai Chi master and um, you know I, tr I just stopped myself I tried to stop myself from saying things like um I took Tai Chi briefly, very briefly, I think I only went twice, um, but at Hunter College in um, 1985, 84, 82 even. Um, I was thinking it was towards the end, but I think it was at the beginning. Anyway, the point is, we dabble in these things, and um, and yet, when I had a actually had a more complete explanation of it in 1989, and while simultaneously. Uh, learning Bikram Yoga, and I, and I had been saying to him as we were parting, how is it possible that something that I learned before everybody else, and a very long time ago, over 20 years ago, 22, 20, how many years ago? And, um, the popular consensus is to make sure that I don't get to work. That's amazing. And so while this guy kept like, oh, you know, I tried to take his class a couple of times and, you know, he tells me stuff I learned when I was 16 in ballet and um, stuff I've carried with me my whole life about physiology and, and uh, Lynn Simonson, are you with me here? Um, you know, I don't know a fraction of what she knows, but, but that makes me a Martina Navratilova in comparison, uh, to this guy and, and his little hobbyist approach to, you know, when he's not working on Wall Street, probably, I don't know what he does. Uh, so, and I don't mean this to sound hateful, but the irony that true teachers and true healers as opposed to the doctors we have. Everything is so about making money that uh, the essence of, what import of what's important is almost lost. And um, I've been keeping record like crazy and documenting as much as I have been able to, to shed light on this irony that someone with so much promise that was once so beloved could through gossip and rumor and just pure hatred be turned into someone whose family doesn't even want to talk to them anymore. Um, and uh, being compelled into doing so doesn't, doesn't work. It's, there's a true toll that's that's never uh, really made right. It can't be. That's why it's a toll. And um, before I completely lose track of what I'm talking about, I'll just sum it up with uh, the word irony and how simple it could be to fix it but people don't want to fix it.
people get off on sacrifice and having backs to step on. It becomes an addiction. Some people have addiction for ice cream, some for beer. Whatever the addiction is, it's always a stupid addiction, always. Um, but out of an imposed boredom, you turn to the intellectual, you turn to the intellect to point you in the direction of as deeply inside as you can go to try to escape. 